Hey friends, patrons, and new subscribers. This is a channel for realists. Realism. And a point that I fail to stress so often, nearly repeatedly, is two things. One, I encourage to live for today. And two, to embrace your fate. Not to copy those others in this space, but I'm just going to come out and say it. Strive to live by. I think it's quite indicative of what I'm doing. You know, 90% of life is just showing up. You never know with YouTube's algorithm, things are always changing and it's really unpredictable, really unpredictable. I published a nine or 10 minute tirade on Jordan Peterson, which I thought would explode uh, given like keyword titles and you know, what's trending but it just flew out the air. Just got the usual amount of views, actually, not, not that many. You spend years on this platform, like throwing whatever at the wall and just see what sticks. And I've been doing this for about three years now. Uh, I dropped it for a while and then I picked it back up. And I can officially say that, you know, I think it's, it's okay to say that you're a YouTuber if you publish at least once a week, a day, or a month. As long as you're putting out content and preferably if you're getting paid for it or monetized. Uh, I have over 8,000 watched hours on this channel, which I just learned, and that's kind of exciting. The video I published really woke people up. What I was gonna say was, you know, this Jordan Peterson thing didn't stick, which I think I, I did a verifiable job on that, but I published this one minute clip of a NASA scientist, I guess credibility comes in play, but you know, just because I don't have the title, it doesn't mean that you can't learn all this stuff on your own. Everything is on the internet and libraries, guys. Libraries still exist in your, in your city. There's some form of a library most of the time. And I was an autodidact and learned it, but I published this one minute clip and it's just been skyrocketed up to like over 1500 views. People were just like waking up. When, when you hear, I hear it in his voice, man, it, it, it shook me for several hours, you know, when I first saw that clip and it was so hard, kind of hidden. I mean, the news every day is inundated with climate change esque links. And this one came up when he said, we're gonna lose everything. Damn, should I capture this for history? This is important. I feel like this is important. I hope he didn't lose his job. It's, take, it's taking a risk. As a scientist, you know, it's taking a risk putting yourself out there like that. And the police force presence, like that's your future, children. You handcuffing yourself to major fossil fuel emitters while police show up. I mean, we live in a police state. That's what slowly's happened over the past several decades. I don't wanna get all Russell Brand on you, but I'm just stating the facts. So, People like to defer to us as doomer or doomerism, doomers, but I, I don't think that's accurate. I think we're, we're more realists. We've carefully evaluated the situation and what's at play, what we're currently doing, and referred to the scientific literature, and we refer to each other. This is kind of peer-reviewed channel. Like, I put out stuff, and I know so many people are watching it, and really intelligent people are watching it. So if, if I said or did something stupid, I'd feel like I'd be... I'd be pointed out or I wouldn't have as many subscribers as I do. Because not to, not to go much longer on this, but you know, it's not, this channel isn't, I'm an actor and it's about the bigger issue, which is the end of mankind, all life on earth. Did you, in, in a million years, did you think you'd be around long enough to see the end of the world? Professor Mendy? Professor Mindy. You know what, guys? Let's 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 call it a night, huh? But what about the relative position? I can't figure this one out. Not not tonight, guys. Sorry. I didn't have my Blue Yeti app open, so now it sounds a little different, right? It sounds a more like a broadcaster. Am I peaking? No. Okay, we're cool. Alrighty. So I'm on the autism spectrum disorder. So. I speak in, uh, I have some ADHD and I speak in tangents sometimes. The main show of this recording is a Time article written literally last night. The Time is a, let's be known, is a corporate media outlet. I'm just gonna read from the top. It was written by Susan Joy Hassel and Michael E. Mann. What a duo, definitely paid by corporate media. These are thick pockets from corporate media. I'm just gonna read from the top, I might paraphrase a little. We're at an agonizing moment in world history. The combined stresses of the war in Ukraine, the climate crisis, and economic troubles stemming from spiking oil and gas prices, inflation, and glowing inequality has pushed us to our limits, geopolitically, environmentally, and psychologically. After centuries of colonialism, intensive resource extraction, and narrow short-term thinking, the chickens have come home to roost. But what if we three feed three birds with one scone? Oh, 
scone. Where can I get a scone? Following the release of the climate reports, such as the recent IPCC assessments, we often observe a surge of, here's the word, doomism. When headlines proclaim it's now or never to limit warming. Some assume we won't do what's needed in time, and if you think there's nothing we can do, why bother trying? Some well-meaning people can be weaponized by those who stand to benefit if we throw up our hands and surrender, rather than challenging the fossil fuel industry's social license. We must stress the urgency. There is clearly no time to waste. But there is agency, too. The problem with now or never is that it implies a hard threshold at 1.5 degrees Celsius that if we fail to achieve, it's game over. But this game will never be over. There is no point beyond which we shouldn't keep trying to limit warming. Every fraction of a degree matters. The level to just the disruption that will rain out down on us. So he's just a paraphrase going at how it's happened. We got relying on it. You've heard this story a million times. Blah, blah, greed, greed, anthropocentrism. Anthropocentrism. Brush up on your climate change vocabulary every so often. All new subscribers. And he's saying all these big banks, uh, these companies have been uh, denial and delay, even big fossil fuel companies to explore for oil and gas. With the support of big banks, yes, the classics, JP Morgan, City, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. New, new oil and gas projects are being planned and approved as we speak. The world is on track to produce twice the fossil fuels in 2030. Then would be consistent with the 1.5 degrees Celsius. This is the last paragraph I'm going to skip to it. The only path to lasting security is to get off fossil fuels once and for all. Let this be the moment when the, the, the U.S. takes the lead in solving the related challenges before us, helping prepare the world toward a climate-safe, politically secure, and economically prosperous future. It is in our hands. <sighs> yeah, all you need to do is go walk outside, look around you, and think for five seconds. Do you think this is sustainable? So this whole journey and process to that realization took me years. I had a similar experience that that NASA scientist was having locking himself to the chase door. Although I didn't do that, I did pretty much cry on camera and lose my shit in a video and that got quite a few hundred views. That bargaining phase, that hits you and I still go back to anger sometimes because it's like an addiction I, I'm breaking free from. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I just, I need a punching bag or I need to yell at some barbed wire fence. That, that feels good every once in a while. Others can't even fucking respond you know, to this information. One, let me bring you down to reality. While you've been asleep, we just entered runaway climate change. It's 2022, I've been saying this shit for years, yelling it at the top of my lungs, sacrificed time and money to produce this content and put it out to the world and tell the truth because no one's willing to do that. We are either in denial or would rather die than give up the privileges that we have now. This is the sad truth, this is the reality. And before I go, I might like to recommend to all the new subscribers, Go at your own pace when you go through this information. If you drop it all on you at once, you'll be extremely debilitated for at least a week. I hope you like the content and feel free to donate to support my work and hit the thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.